Hello everyone, this is going to show you how to set up tablet rules on your uh, Ocean site for the PSP uh, mental health program. So when you're in your portal, you might see something like this. Uh, mine's going to look a little different because I have a whole bunch of uh, already tablet rules set up. So don't worry about this, yours is going to look a lot simpler. So if you're not in the tablets tab, if you're over in the e-form section or whatever, just, just click over on tablets. Now what we're going to do is create a new set of tablet rules. So you probably have one that uh, by default that says default tablet settings. So first of all, click the clone button. And what that will do is it will create a second um, set, uh, a second area for tablet rules. So if you say, so I'm just going to, for example, use this one for default, no rules, because it is a blank slate, has no rules. So if I click clone, and then I've got no rules one, so it's cloned it. First of all, let's click it to rename it. So let's, in your site, let's name it uh, mental health PSP. So let's name it that for your, for the sake of whatever you want to name it. So then we're going to go in and actually install the programming or the rules behind it in this group of tablets. So, uh, so we want to edit, and then from there you'll see this tablet up tab up here that says rules. Click that, and right now there's no rules. So we want to create three rules to make the programming work for this PSP algorithm. So click create rule and the first rule we want to create is for the, the PSP PHQ9. So if you just type PH, PSP in the search box then we can find the PHQ9. So just click that and we're going to say create a rule. So now it defaults to that says true in there. Don't worry about that. The PDF that you downloaded that has the three rules in question, I'll just drag it into my screen over here so you can see. But what you basically want to do is for this rule one for PSP PHQ9, you actually just want to cut and paste, copy and paste all that script. Nothing but it, but exactly that script. So you from there you can highlight it, you can do a control C. Or a, uh, or, or a right click and say copy and then what we're going to do is take that away we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna do control V or or paste and there then you've got that whole string it's all just one string of script for the whole um, for that whole rule. So that, that tells the 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 algorithm what when to load the PSP PHQ9 form automatically. In any case, so that's the first rule. Then we're going to create a second rule, and this time we're going to create it for the PSP follow-up controller. So we click that, and we say create rule. And just like the, the last time, this time we're going to bring up the scripting for the rule number two. So let's copy control C or copy that. Move it out of the way. And we're going to paste it into there. And then finally we're going to create our third rule for this group. And this final rule is going to be for the pre-PHQ screen. So PSP pre-PHQ screen, we do that, create rule, bring that PDF back over in here so you can see it, copy that script, and then paste it in there. So we've created the three rules, then we just click save. So then we've got our group here that has this, this group, uh, this rule. Now, your, your clinic might have a bunch of tablets that you might want to use. You, some tablets you might want to 
have just uh, assigned to these rules and other tablets you might other tablets you might want uh, using other rules but so if you wanted to start using your family health team or whatever tablets you want to use or maybe it's all of them you, all you do is click and drag the tablets in question just it's just click and drag and therefore all the rules in this mental health PSP now apply to these tablets in question and that's it